one. Hey guys, so for today's video I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this look right here. Originally this is going to be more of like a gold eye, but now I feel like it kind of turned into a little bit of a gold smoky eye. And the reason that being is because I was going to do a winged liner, but then I messed up and I removed the liner, but then it kind of removed my eyeshadow too, which I should have known that was going to happen, but I ended up kind of messing up my eye look a little bit and I did a lot off camera, like after I applied my gold color I had to just I had to do a lot off camera so yes I feel like it kind of turned out a little bit smoky but that's okay because I feel like I never do smoky eyes so I'm definitely fine with doing something a little bit more dramatic and yes so I hope that you guys enjoy this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you do like it and also don't forget to subscribe before you leave because you know you, you don't want to miss out and you know it's down below it's the red button I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys know what it looks like but anyway yes that's pretty much all I have to say I feel like I had more to say in this intro but I guess I didn't so let's just go ahead and jump right on to the video okay so I already did my brows off camera and I'm going to be priming my eyes with the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion and I'm just going to be blending that out with my finger and then I'm just going to take some powder just to set it because I do have oily eyelids so I do like to set it and it also just kind of makes the eyeshadow look better and then I'm going to be using the Too Faced holiday palettes I know they don't have these palettes anymore but I really just wanted to use them in a tutorial so you can honestly just use any color similar but I'm using the eggnog latte palette and I'm picking up that light brown color with a Morphe Y16 brush and I'm just going to be applying this into the crease honestly just any light brown color will look good and then I'm going to be going in with the gingerbread cookie palette and I'm going in with the shade maple syrup it's like a dark brownish gray color and I'm just applying that into my outer V and blending that into the crease and I'm using that same brush so then I went on with the shade Ginger Snap, which is a beautiful gold color, and I used the MAC Fix Plus, and I just applied this on my lid. Now, I did have to do quite a bit off camera, though, because it is a very glittery color, and a lot of it got on my face, so I had to use a makeup wipe to remove it, but I definitely love this color. But then I actually went in with the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette, and I used the shade Half Baked, and I just applied that over top of the gold just to make it, I don't know, just to make it a little bit more of like a lighter gold because the gold from the Too Faced palette was a little bit darker and then I went in with the Too Faced Peppermint Mocha palette I'm sorry that clip was a little blurry but I'm just using that white shade to highlight my inner corner now I'm going to be going in with the Essence Lash Princess Mascara and I'm just going to be cutting this onto my lashes I absolutely love this mascara I made my lashes really long and voluminous and I would highly recommend it because it's super affordable and now to prime my face I'm going to be using the NYX Angel Veil Face primer and I'm just going to be massaging that into my skin. I really love this primer because it's super hydrating and it definitely made my makeup last. Now I'm going to be going in with the L'Oreal Lumi Cushion Foundation and I'm just going to be dotting this on my skin and then blending it out with my beauty blender. I'm in the shade N3.5 and I really do love this foundation. It has pretty good coverage but it's really lightweight as well so definitely would recommend this foundation and then for concealer I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and this is definitely my all-time favorite concealer it's a very thick one so you only need a little bit of product and a little bit does go a very long way and it just conceals everything and it's amazing I mean everybody loves it so I just blended this all out with my beauty blender as per usual Now I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and have been liking to do it lately is I like to take my beauty blender and make sure that it's dampened and then just dip it in the powder and apply it underneath my eyes. I just prefer doing it that way. And then I'm going to be going back in with the Eggnog Latte Palette and picking up my transition color and I'm just going to be applying this to my lower lash line and then I'm also going to be applying some mascara as well. So then I'm going to be using the e.l.f. bronzer palette and I'm going to be mixing those two shades at the bottom and I'm just going to be bronzing up my skin as per usual. I'm probably going to do some type of contour in my next video but as you guys know I just, I'm all for that bronzing life and I'm just going to be using my big fluffy Real Techniques brush. 
Then for blush, I'm going with the Tarte Blush in the shade Prim. It is a beautiful, just kind of like pinky, peachy color. And I'm using a Morphe M530 brush. I absolutely love this brush. And I'm just going to be applying this to the apples of my cheeks. Then for my highlights, I'm going to be using the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. And I love my Wet n Wild one, but I would definitely say this is my new favorite drugstore one. It's just, it's a very beautiful highlight. It's a little bit more subtle, but honestly, it still gives you like a very popping glow. And I'm going to be using my Up and Up brush to apply it. And then for the lips, I'm using the Essence Lip Liner. This is in the shade In the Nude, and I'm just going to be lining my lips. I really love this lip liner because, honestly, I feel like a nude liner could go with any type of lip color. And then to finish it off, I'm going to be using the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Eclair. This is such a classic lip gloss, and I absolutely love this color. It's just a beautiful kind of pinky everyday color, and that's going to be it for this video. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!